Okay, there's the camera. Welcome to the stream. Uh, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a PUBG Mobile event. And PUBG Mobile, with a bunch of different teams competing for a chance to win the $20, oh no, the $80 prize pool for the month. We have a bunch of other competitions, uh, and we'd love to have you there. We're gonna have more and more going up every week. Uh, whether it's COD Mobile or PUBG Mobile. So if you're interested in any of that, go to the description, go to the about page in our dis in the stream that you're watching and you can find it easily. Click the link and you're good to go. Uh, but right now, we got a bunch of different teams. I actually need to put up the team list still. So you guys are gonna see this uh, interesting team list that um, needs to change, but I'm gonna get that team list right now. So just give me a sec as I uh, put it up. But uh, again, thank you for joining in. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, you can always hit me up. Uh, I'm an open book per se. Uh, but yeah, if you guys need to uh, definitely uh, message me, uh, then you can go to Discord, as I just mentioned before. You can message me there. Uh, but anyway, in the chat, love to hear from you too. All right, so we got Rat Pack Gaming, C4, 4 Gamers, Kings of Chaos. Circle of Silence, 807 Gaming, Legends of Alpha, Legends Bravo, SYC, Law, uh, Low Lives X, Toxic Gaming, Third Vision Mystic, Unknown Alpha, Mindless Outlaws, FBO Red, Devious, Emergency Room, High Ping Gaming, Straight Outta Compton, uh, <laughs> Straight Outta Compton, Straight Outta Nepal, uh, Executioner's Blade, and that last one's just uh, a placeholder. So I don't know how I got mixed up with shit out in Nepal. Um, they have a new logo. That is it. Um, but yeah, uh, we're good luck to all these teams. Uh, I'm going to tell you which team I have winning at all. Uh, if you guys have a particular team, love to hear it from you, obviously. Uh, but the one I am picking is drum roll, please. I'm going with... Oh, that's not the drum roll I wanted, but I'm going to go with Kings of Chaos, Team Slot 7 uh, on top there. If you guys have a different team, obviously, let me know. Uh, as I said before, I'm kind of repeating myself sometimes, uh, but I, I think I'm a little distracted with the music right now. This is too heavy. This is like metal rather than rock as I prescribed. I'm going to change the type of music. Going to pop, you know. Nice, happy pop here. Might be too... Too, uh... Uh, yeah, I'll keep it, whatever. We'll go with that. Let's bring you guys back to the studio, and if you guys have uh, things you want to tell me, um, whether it's constructive criticism or advice, definitely love to hear it. Otherwise, I'm perfect. I'm never going to get anything wrong. Um, what do we want to talk about here? So... With those teams that are competing, uh, the way it works is that for the whole month, they're competing for a chance to win that $80 prize pool. Uh, players can, or teams can uh, compete every week. So if you didn't compete the first week, you compete the second week. Um, that being said, actually, we're gonna be changing up this whole play style. Uh, it, instead of doing it for a whole month, and it looks like we're about to get started. Instead of doing it for the whole month, we're going to do it uh, for individual week, and it would be a $20 prize pool instead. So that way, if you're a team that um, didn't do so well maybe earlier in the month or something like that, and you feel discouraged to continue playing, we want you to continue playing. Uh, we want you to have fun, obviously. And um, sometimes that fun is part of the uh, veneer of winning that, uh, that $20 prize pool or cash prize pool that we have. So uh, every week is going to be a separate week. I know this sounds obvious, but separate uh, in the sake of $20 per week. And you only have to play one day for a chance to do that. Go to our Discord. We're going to have that all set up uh, going forward. We're going to have uh, open signups right after this uh, event is over, which is going to be tonight. Right after this event is over, we'll open everything up. So first things first, can't stress this enough, as I've mentioned it already a few times, got to go to our Discord in order to get things started all right so let me go over to the live scene because we're starting this match I'm talking about started okay so welcome first match of the night we got three matches for you uh, as we go through this one we got s roughly 60 people in this room and uh it's great it's great to have you guys this is the reason why we're going to be changing it up too because we do feel like, as time goes on, with the more weeks there are, um, I think uh, this one's a five-week or month, 
Um, p teams head off because they don't feel like they have a chance anymore. We don't want that happening. So going forward, again, we're going to be changing that. But it's pretty great that we still have 60 people. So good luck to each of you. And um, we'll be taking a look at the action. My job as caster is to mention all the things that are going on in game. Whether that is rotations, positioning, and obviously the gameplay. Um, so here we go. Team 14 and Team 11 dropping fairly close. One representing the Legends team. or there's uh, I think there's just Legends Alpha, I believe, today. I could be wrong. Could be both Legends and Bravo. Usually they come in pairs. But uh, it does seem like the Team 10 Legends team is dropping to Los Leones. Along with TG dropping to Los Leones as well. HP is also there. So that could be an interesting place. The thing about Los Leones, obviously, for those who play uh, a lot they know this already is it the biggest city out of all the maps and the fact that there's a few teams going there might not instigate a uh, uh, a battle quite yet so i'm not going to start there i am taking a look over here looks like team four is jumping in this is rat pack gaming um they are close to team 19 let's take a look at them right now uh with devious right here naughty red clouds and nitsua um as they just get to the houses as uh, the parachutes open up. There's a n more devious players on this side. So it looks like they separated in pair one and three. Team, there's uh, the Rat Pack Gaming squad. This is going a little bit down the road. I think that makes sense given how packed this place is already. And that's kind of crazy. This place doesn't usually have that many squads dropping in. So the fact there's like roughly three teams is going to be quite interesting uh, for the sake of looting for each squad. It looks like Truni gets a level 3 backpack. Um, the, snow, the snowman outfit. Um, but here we got Lego 2, Carnage, Rooney, and Killer B. A squad we've seen many times compete in the past. And uh, good luck to, to them for sure. Uh, it does look like Red is getting closest to them. As you can see there on the left of your screen. Um, but not quite going over that limit. They might have known that they dropped there. So we're going to just keep an eye on the rest of the map as things go. Team 10 and Team 8 are rarely close, at least two players. So I kind of want to see how this is going to pan out. Death is right there. Legends SS just staying on the road. It's a good thing didn't go all the way up top because I think Death would have had a good vantage point. But it does seem like uh, it was a close call regardless. So there's SS just going down. Death could get out and try to see what's happening. But I think he's a little worried being by himself on this side with a full squad uh, that he has next to him uh, but a little bit more down of the line that really can't help out uh, again this is the same group of people that are uh, close together uh, and they're really overlapped at this point it's just that i don't know i don't think they're uh, they're trying to fight still i think what they're trying to do is get a lot of loot before they get into this battle and um but Devious being in between two squads is putting themselves in a bit of a pickle. Red's going to try to throw this molly over. We'll see if it reaches as Skittles shoot, shoots over. And the molly does get inside, but Skittles is able to run away. Luckily, he was trying to throw a molly at that time. And that allowed him to get uh, behind the house. Here's the rest of the squad. It doesn't seem like Temper is having as much luck there. as He gets hit a few times before he can crouch to this position right now it does seem like vex has a shotgun uh oh no it's an mk uh not an mk a uh man i can't think of this name i never use it and that's the problem <laughs> if someone can mention it in the chat i know it's uh once you say it, it'll be easier but there's shots on this side as well and devious red has a knock player with clouds and that is definitely the cause from fbo fbo seems to be causing more havoc especially on red who's just trying to shoot outside the window Keep him at bay, but that is not going to happen. Oh, Red almost knocked down and stays alive for the moment. Luckily, he can be on two feet, but he's not. He's going to be prone because he was just getting shot staying up top. Now, Carnage is hurt and obviously knocked. Looks like Killer B is going to try to make that rotation as he throws a smoke. Or Carnage is going to try to crawl back. Seems like that is a viable option at this point. And uh, we'll see if that will work completely. Killer B shooting across with a mini. Not a bad gun in this scenario. But I think he'd much rather have an automatic. Yeah, actually, he might have an automatic. But he's got the mini out for sure. Truni's got uh, an enemy next door as well. As uh, They're right here. It looks like one's about to throw. And it tricked him. Nitsua gets knocked out. 
Truni faked the throw and it all played out exactly how he wanted it to. Oh, I thought those were solid hits, but Killer B is still good to go with roughly 75% health. You can see Naughty just trying to find that angle. Grenade coming in and Naughty staying alive just barely. Grenade thrown over. Does that hurt? Naughty might have hurt a little bit. But this should definitely cause some chaos as Lagotu comes in with a kill. I think maybe even, uh, who is it? Truni. Maybe Truni was able to actually get that kill instead. So that's it for one of the squads. The one that was in the middle. That was Devious. Uh, and also, no, this same squad here. I was going to say another squad came in. But no, this is the same one that stopped here. So now it's just between these two instead. Team 17 and 18. Mindless Outlaws versus FBO. FBO Red in particular. Still trying to use a sniping weapon. It makes sense to use snipers in this particular map. There's a lot of open space, a lot of distance. So the fact that you have some sort of bolt action or a, a sniper in general is definitely a, a viable option. And you can see mini, a mini for a Killer B has a four times scope on it. That won't be bad either. Just taking a look around, I know we got this battle kind of still going on. I think they're going to rotate in different directions. Uh, but we do have HP here. And there's TG on that far side with Potato. Potato, Dano, Gara, and A511. As they are uh, getting closer and closer. Especially Potato here. Getting closer to one particular player on Team 21. I think that is Bang? No, it is Justin over here. And you can see that he is crossing the street. He's going to be right on his right as you can see there. So these are the two closest players on these particular squads. And uh, still has some distance. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, buildings that they can use cover on in Los Leones. So the fact that they are not dying quickly makes a lot of sense. And as I said here, this is the most wanted FBO battle. I assume most wanted was going to rotate out. They did. Ooh, good hit on Shruni from Temper. Look at that. Truni was brought down to roughly 1% health. And there's a knock. Truni, how did he not get away after a few shots like that? But it may not particularly matter because Killer B is going to... Tr oh, what? Continue to get shot. He needs to move. He might be AFK. He is AFK. That is just rough. The worst position to be in at that moment. As he just needed to move maybe an inch or two to the left. And that would have worked out for Killer B to at least get the revive and maybe for him to survive the rest of the game if he came back. But that is not going to happen as FBO is now left with three players against Mindless Outlaws 4. Shots continuing to go back and forth here between the two. We're going to head back over to Team 21 and 14. As I said before, uh, Potato is the closest one. But it does seem like Team 21 has gone on a recruitment process at Los Leones. As now there's two people on close by to Gara's position. Uh, wait, what's I thought it was Gara. Wait, who was it? Mm, potato, oh, potato position. There we go. Oh, Potato's actually rotating out. Good idea because his team was nowhere in sight for him to back him up. Um, they are in Los Leones, but as I said before, it is a big city. And so you want to make sure you're closer together in order to battle. And that's why he drove back. Still a battle between the top right. It looks like all the other places in particular are looting. Everyone's trying to just grab their stuff and move forward from there. We still got the first circle that's about to be closing in... What time? Let's see. This one... Ooh, shots fired. Potato did get hit. It is closing right now. Uh, and a smoke thro uh, thrown for Potato to utilize. I think maybe he just wants to uh, possibly grab that bus. But I know he has a car somewhere around... And that's probably, yeah, he, there it is. He just threw it behind to make sure the car doesn't get taken down. There's a bus there, so they have two vehicles. A lot of teams, what they like to do is utilize multiple vehicles. Some people like to have one. Most teams in uh, the esports community like to use multiple, whether it's two, three, or four. I think more the merrier for most. But uh, for me particularly, I like to have two vehicles. as uh, I would like to each, each car to have at least one that can shoot out of it, so... Two is always optimal for me for a full squad. Uh, but if you think otherwise, and for other reasons, let me know. I'm going to get YouTube up and running because I've been neglecting you guys. 
And there we go. So if you have any questions, just hit me up, alright? Hit me up. Team 18 and 17 still close. Team 21 and 14. It looks like 14's driving off. So what's the circle going to do? We will still see. We got a lot of time before it completely closes. And uh, they'll have time to even rotate after that to get into whatever zone will be next. Most of the teams, almost all of the teams, you can see there, Team 17 as well. Excuse me, one of the few that is not in the zone, uh, for the new one anyway. And Team 13 with LL Baby J, who's by himself. And it looks like maybe AFK as well, because he's getting overrun with the blue. Unfortunate for him as well. Uh, although I hear him moving now. Nope, he's moving. So he was just... Camping that spot out. Team 22, I just saw. Looks like there is a battle close by. And yes, Captain is hurt inside. It looks like he might be knocked. Let's take a look at that. So he is knocked. I, he does not have a team. Oh, yes, he does. Charm throwing a smoke down. I think trying to make things a little confusing in this area because his odds are not in favor straight up because he thinks it's. Oh, boy. A molly on his left, a grenade on his right. He needs to use bandages. He needs to use more than that, but he doesn't have it. Uh, he does have some boosters, but right now bandages are the only hard healers he's got. And Charm has to continue to use bandages. He needs every inch of health he can possibly get. And he's got to hope and pray that they don't come straight in at any moment. Maybe throw some more things down the stairs. Just give you, buy you some extra time. But, oh, there's a grenade coming in. Doesn't doesn't cook it, which allowed him to escape the room. And there he is right there. There's a knock to start. Couldn't do it more than that, though. He lost too much health. And his first engagement with the player that he was able to knock. But after that, it was just all downhill. The rest of the squad was going to be easily able to take him down. As it was a pretty true 1v4 scenario. That's why it's so important in an esports competition to have your full squad and you don't really want to be separated to oh colliding almost colliding as we take a look back it looks like buddha just able to drive by without oh shame i was gonna say but potato's gonna shoot across and buddha gets knocked down actually by dano on the tg side as uh cost is gonna lose a particular player circle of silence player is down and out so they're going to loot his box, grab every little thing they can get that they want, and then move on. Let's take a look around, see all the different teams that we haven't seen so far. We got Sabawoon, uh, Good Boy, Ramat, and Fool. As I said, this is Team C4, a team that has played many times in the past, and it looks like they're waiting for the zone to kind of push him out or for a battle, one or the other. Piccata is a good place to hold, and it's pretty centered, close to center for this circle, so they probably will want to keep it if they can, but if the zone changes out, they will move out. Race Car Soup, Daisy, Agent 47, and SYC Cat. Race Car gets taken down quickly. I didn't even realize the team was right here. This is represented by SON. We got uh, Prashant Sai Young, I believe, Fluffy, and Loki. And you can see the rest of the squad going across. They're gonna hit him hard. Going in prone, trying to shoot across. It looks like a lot of good damage and it blows up the car. Everyone dies inside. Look at the kill feed. Just death after death. All the kills going to Cy Young there. And that is going to be a nice amount of kills for SON. Barely taking any damage in response. Obviously, a lot of that because they were just trying to drive by, not engage with SON. But it was inevitable as they went prone to shoot and just had a whole squad just being able to shoot in the open like that. It is a good thing to have cars. SYC was good to grab some vehicles. But the problem was that they went right in front of SON and continued to drive pretty much in front of them without getting behind any hard cover. Uh, so here we got SON. Looks like they may see most wanted on this side. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely thinking Zionide. Uh, notices them as you can see very cautious of them and yeah they can see them moving every now and then there's little dots as he's using a red dot fluffy getting shot gets hit gets not hard shots there as the red dot is not necessarily the most long range scope you can get but he's certainly causing some havoc across the way 
with more and more hits. So Skittle, Zionide, and Temper trying to do it all as Vex has already been taken down. One knocked, another one badly injured. And Fluffy's just trying to get behind this rock now. Seems to have worked to get here, but will he be revived is the next question. Good thing to throw some smokes. Um, and I think they're just trying to get some knocks first. Maybe put some damage just to keep them from looking. But I think they can easily make this rotation now. It's how Young is going across. Yeah, he's able to go without even getting hit once. And that should uh, help Fluffy out. Uh, most Wanted, they're not making a push. They don't feel comfortable at this point. Even though they did pretty well with those initial hits. Uh, I think they were hoping to get two knocks to make a push there. They're just so far away from them. That if, if they tried to push with just that one knock that they got. They probably would have been hit with a barrage of bullets in their vehicle. So... That's why they didn't decide to uh, push right after that. Makes a lot of sense. And that's the kind of thing that you got to think about. That's the gray area that you have to think about in this game is when to push, when not to. That's certainly one of them. Uh, Legotu, part of FBO, looking down at Team Unknown Alpha. We got Lens and we got Reaper down there. They're a little bit far away from each other. They're still in the same, uh, I don't know what you call this. What is this? I guess treatment center. Um, but they are uh, a little bit on distant areas. So if one gets knocked, that would be a big problem. FBO seems to be stalking their prey. Carnage backed away a bit. Reaper gets knocked as he tried to go up the hill. And the go-to puts a quick end to him as well. Lens, all he can do is try to look up at the enemy, but has no view of that. And now is by himself. So he's going to throw a smoke. I'm not sure what his goal here. He needs to get into next zone somehow. I don't know if there's a vehicle that he can utilize. But the fact that he threw a smoke makes me think he doesn't have one. So he's trying to throw one to make a path for himself in. But is that right move? I don't think so. I think he should eat the blue zone. Kind of take some time away. Have a go to, you know, chill out here for a moment. Even if you're taking a lot of blue. You just got to make the go to think that you're not here. Um, especially since Lens doesn't know how many are on the other side. He can imagine that there's still four people. I know Legotu is pretty much by himself on this side with his teammate kind of on the distant there. Uh, there's Carnage. But the fact that he threw a smoke should make it easy for FBO to stick around and think, all right, there's one person he needs to get in somehow and we'll wait for him. Lens is going to try to rotate to the right. And that's a good idea, but will it work? His teammate got knocked down on that hill in front of him because he was able to look across. And so there's Legotu, his tag anyway. I don't think Lens can see him. And on the right there, Carnage might be able to notice him soon enough. They're rotating around the treatment, making sure that at any point he tries to cut in, they will stop him. And uh, he's also going to grab this uh, box from the fallen teammate here. Uh, of uh, unknown alpha. So it's a good place to hold on both ends. Lens is trying to... Oh, where is he going to go? He's trying to go backwards. I'm not sure his main priority here. As, uh, he's trying to hurdle some stuff. I feel bad for him. He's going to get taken. There's no way he gets out of this. There is a percent chance that he will survive. But it does seem like actually FBO is kind of getting a little antsy. One has left already. Carnage is holding still. And Lens is now coming in, which is probably the perfect time. As Carnage has backed away too, and you see him looking backwards, thinking, where the hell did he go? They know there is one person back there, but they don't know exactly where he went. And Lens survives. I'm actually pretty surprised by that, but I guess it makes sense. They are a duo squad. They can't afford to just stick around in one spot and hold tight. They need to make sure they get positioning for your future reference, because uh, going as a duo... With a lot of squads still intact is a hard thing to do. So they're going to bite that bullet and uh, move in. One of the most central teams for the new zone is SON. We already saw... They have 11 kills already? We saw them get a squad wipe already, but I'm surprised they have 11 at this point. We see KC in front, Kings of Chaos. And maybe that'll be an interesting battle. We got Renata, I think, shooting across. Yes, at SON. Trying to hit two people in that vehicle. One jumps out. Trying to hit another, but Renat is not able to quite get the hits he's looking for. Zeph on this side, looking over at Loki. Looks like he shoots down to the ground. Must have been a misclick. Renata hurt badly on this side now. May have gotten hit on the sides. You can see there he's looking in that direction and only protecting himself from that side. 
D Dre Dre uh I'm gonna go with Dre. Uh or Doctor One Three, Doctor Thirteen. I'm not sure which one you're gonna pick. But you see here, Loki is he's trying to hit Loki pretty well, but it looks like he's behind a rock. Let's see exactly. Yeah, he's behind the rock right now. Teammate is in a vehicle. And for an Oh, Sayong got hit badly. Luckily stays alive with just a little bit of health left, but very close to getting knocked down. Gino has come around quite a bit. Definitely their flanker for KC. Prashant is right under him and may have heard him. He's actually getting, he's actually taken down, I think. Oh no, he's right there. I couldn't see his tag. I was like, where did he go? But he's still there. He's just hiding in the very much corner there. It's gonna be hard for G uh, Gino to hit him, especially with 4G seemingly hitting him from long range. He can't quite jump over that cliff to hit him. Um, just waiting for that third party. Unknown Lens got taken down by the blue zone. And that is it for Unknown Alpha. Not sure how that really came to be, but apparently was staying too long in the blue. Maybe he was getting hit as well from gunfire. All right, so still three players for KC. It looks like a team is coming from behind them with TG, as they are also trying to get into zone still. So Team 7 can try to hold them back, or Team 7 is going to continue to move forward because it seems like more and more they're getting sandwiched in. They got Team 22 that they've been battling for a while with SON. Um, but if they have to deal with them on two fronts now, deal with two teams and two fronts, that could be too much to ask for. Cy Young is knocked thanks to Gino. Loki still there close by, but Gino might not know he's right there. I think he's wondering when is someone going to rotate to bring him back. And let's see what Loki. Let's see Loki's position as uh, he's scoped in. There he is. Shots hit on Loki. Good reaction time. As Gino was just trying to figure out where he was going to be. So now Loki's been spotted. He's going to try to rotate back. He's going to get hit. No. I really come surprised by that one. He might get hit through the window, to be quite honest. But it doesn't see. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's got to be a little cautious there, as I thought he was going to get sniped. Potatoes hurt badly. But he's able to get a knock here on top. And this is what I was talking about. KC putting themselves in the middle. Sandwiching them in between two different squads. And the, and the results are evident. KC is not handling this vel, well, vel. Handling this well. Thank you, Captain, for joining in. Um, and Gino is the only one left. He's got a grenade. He's working it. He's cooking it. He's throwing it. Gets the knockout. That was on a knock player, and he thirsted him. Good throw. Perfect angle for the knock player. I'm kind of surprised. Potato drops down. Oh, I thought he was going to kill himself. <laughs> no, he will stay alive as he drops in. A511 throwing some stuff over. Might be a grenade. It was, and Gino staying alive just barely. Another grenade cut over. That seems to be right on top of him. How is it not knocking him down? It fell down. That is why. That was so close. Grenades continuing to bombard toward Gino. Gino's trying to hold on, but he gets taken down finally as Potato was knocked in response to that. Back over to C4. It looks like they're going after HP. Both teams need to figure out a way to get into the next zone, but right now they're kind of focused on the squad ahead of them. Sabuun and Good Boy. Looks like uh, both are alive, but the rest of the team is knocked, and uh, they're throwing a lot of smokes to make sure they can get the pickups. Ramat's not looking too hot. Bang, I think is, oh, he's knocked actually. I thought he was just hurt, but he is knocked, and we'll see if Good Boy's gonna be able to pick up full, especially with that blue zone. That's gonna be affecting them quite harshly. Sabuun gets in the vehicle, and he's just gonna drive up, but there's a whole team there too. He's kind of separating from his squad, but he needs to figure out a way again to get into zone. He can't afford to just chill out in this blue zone as it is getting a bit hard to deal with. Fool is knocked once again. I think the zone caused that knock. COS Chopstick staying alive. Death staying alive as well as Fluffy couldn't quite make the mark. We got Chopstick, Ego, and Death. Looking up the hill, not quite finding their mark there as four gamers are up there higher up. I do like where they are at though, four gamers. They have the high hill, they'll be able to look down on a lot of different teams and utilize these hills for protection at the same time. Shots fired at SON and they're able to get away from 4G's uh, view. 
HP Justin, all of his teammates out of the game. They only have one kill on the board, but if they can survive, that can help out with the long run for points. Nice hits there. Cy Young was actually able to get that knock on Gara. And you can see Potato already rotating in to kind of pick that up. 4G looks like they're going to get into the car and move. This is a team that likes to get into the middle of zones quickly. So I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to do that here. Middle of this zone does have a nice cliff or a mountain top. Uh, team 23 seems to be already in a great spot. There are only ones in the new zone already. And all they have to do is choose where they want to go. I think that should be their priority. On hindsight, we obviously know there's no one around. So they can just go and choose for themselves wherever. And not really worry around them. Uh, SON. They're on the south part of the zone. And uh, they're a bit separated, but that seems to be okay with the distance they have with other teams at this point. Uh, A511, one knocked. Potato and Garrus up. Oh, I was going to say both of them are up, but Garrus now knocked as well. And we try to rotate over to Potato. Potato's knocked out as well. COS coming in with a 1 2 3 punch there. And there we have four gamers. There's Team 13 in front with Baby J, who's already picked the spot in this hotel. And one player gets out. So let's see what Baby... And Baby moved. Oh, Baby shouldn't have moved at all. Would have been able to surprise him easily. But I think he was a little bit worried that maybe it would be a full squad. And so he had that Molly ready. But now that there's not, Kawia stays on the first floor waiting for extra teammates. And one just flew on Jesus basis. Where'd you get your freaking uh, license? Fluffy blows up his vehicle to use it for protection, but he's not quite using it yet. Fluffy's continuing to get hit in the back, and these stray bullets every now and then are causing havoc for Fluffy. A lot of SON players on the bottom that are shooting back, making sure he doesn't get knocked down. And now Feel Pain might need to go on revival duty, throwing out the smoke there on the top. Unless that was a grenade, he threw a grenade on top. I think he meant to throw smoke, or he meant to throw that grenade farther. Not sure which one. But uh, it all worked out. They're going to get the revives, it seems, uh, going forward. Fluffy throwing a lot of smoke for himself. And he's just healing through the pain. Deep Death is over here. And he gets knocked out. Fluffy shooting through the smoke. Getting the kill. That's it for the squad. Now, last time we checked, there was two teams here. And as I see four gamers on the second floor, they took care of business against Baby. That was, one of the, that was the Low Lives X squad that they took out, apparently. Four teams left. FBO over here. Executioner's Blade, who we haven't quite seen a lot of, is on the other side. SON on the left, and obviously four gamers on the right. I'm trying to see Kawiya's position, but that's uh, going to bring me to something crazy. Uh, let's go back over. Here we go ish. There we go. Alright, so the 4G, they're going to grab some vehicles. This is very unlike them. And the reason why I say that is because they kind of positioned themselves for that previous zone at the very edge. So now you can see all this pain that they're dealing with just to get into the next zone. And so far, it's working well. Good thing that they have a lot of hills. And what the hell? Every time he's scoped in, things are quick, weird. So we're going to go over to Executioner's Blade's vantage point. As they have a good height here. Height here. Feel pain is moving like a, I don't know, but uh, let's try to see something that makes sense. We got links here. Executioner's blade gets knocked down. That might have been caused by basis. Not sure. Could have been caused by far range son, but basis I think is the only one on his squad. No, 4G Siraj is going for the revival on that left side. So basis is just trying to create some havoc by shooting across, get some hits possibly. But right now he's going to be the focus probably of son given the shots he just took. Kawiya's got a smoke for himself and does get healed up to 100%. Three players here looking pretty good. FBO on that left side seems to be good as well. Fluffy throwing some smokes over. Heading, trying to get advantage on basis. This could be an interesting rotation. They're not, he's not going, Fluffy's not going for uh, the circle. He's obviously getting the loot here, but I think he's also going for the kill that's uh, close by. Basis is actually already knocked, so that's already dealt with. 
There's still three to teams total though. FBO has a good advantage to look off. So does uh, Le uh, Legotu. Uh, 4 4G needs to move. In 13 seconds, the blue zone will start to close. And uh, we can see all this space. The zone's pretty much in front of us in that direction. So the fact that they uh, don't have a lot to uh, for protection is going to be problematic. Especially with the shots on the right now. And so luckily, they're not getting hit by that. Basis is continued knocked. FBO needs to move in as well. But I think they got a good amount of hills there for good coverage to do that. They can move in without any problems to that to this middle hill here. 4G's in the blue. And they are probably going to be taken down now. Killer's still alive, but Killer's not quite moving. Probably just trying to heal through it. Uh, yep, just hoping that uh, one of these teams will get taken down first, but that is simply not going to happen. Even with that grenade, that was a close call. It might have actually caused some damage, but not quite enough. And we're probably going to be left with two teams between FBO and SON. But it looks like still heal healing. Kalia. I don't know how much left. He's got four. So it does seem like FBO, all they have to do is really hold tight. They do not need to move forward. As I said before, it looks like 4G is probably going to get third as long as FBO or SON don't make an aggressive move. Both teams are... Well, one team's complete, but they've been damaged, so that's why they're not pushing. FBO is incomplete. That's why they're not pushing aggressively. 4G Killa getting some shots off as that was unexpected and finally gets taken down there. Doesn't try to go for the thirst on Cy Young. Fluffy gets knocked down. That's exactly what FBO needed. Obviously, Lakota being the only one left, actually, that is not knocked so or killed. So the fact that uh, you survived was definitely a necessity. Lakota needs to heal himself first. Looks like Sung is knocked still, yes. And Loki is going to go for that revive. That's a big move here. No heals left for Loki other than a booster. That's why his health is staying low, and that's why he probably didn't heal himself. And the boost is going to try to run through his veins. But a 2v2 with a go-to pushing forward. FBO has advantage for sure. Carnage staying back. And gets taken down. A 2v1. But the go-to I think still has odds. Yes. Loki gets taken down. Cy Young hits the shots. Must have had a headshot there. As that will be it. With barely any health. They take a victory. SON. Congratulations. Getting first place with a lot of kills on the board. That's certainly... Going to help out the cause. Let's take a look at all this, uh, these results. And then we're going to go in between matches. Uh, let me know if you have anything you want to ask me. Um, I'm here to help. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Discord uh, or chat, I mean, is probably your best way to ask me right now. SOM, 8 for Sayung, 8 for Fluffy, 3 for Loki, and 3 for uh, Prashant. Making a team total there of 8, 9, 10, 11, 22 kills. That is amazing. SON is definitely going to take the lead on this one going into night. Now, FBO, they did well too. Legotu with four, two apiece for Carnage and Killer B, and one for Truni. That's a team total of nine. And then you got 4G, who we obviously know is usually on the podium at some level. They have one apiece for Akila, a bassist, and Siraj, a team total there of three. Uh, Executioner's Blade, well done. Two kills. COS with for uh, three kills uh, uh low lives coming in with zero hp with one kill just from justin tg with four kills nice job from a511 uh c4 with one kill from fool kc with one kill um minus outlaws with two kills one for unknown alpha syc getting zero kills rat pack gaming with zero as well devious with zero legends with zero and this mixture of a squad, I'm not sure which one it is, but zero kills for them as well. So let's move on. We got two more matches coming up uh, right now. Uh, thank you guys for all tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Uzi Killer, thank you for tuning in. It says LL, get it. So LL did fine. I think they got fifth place, low lives. And they only had one person. So hopefully they can turn things around and get more. <laughs> definitely get more people. That would be optimal for that squad. Uh, you guys, oh, wait, by the way, I'm on a delay, so make sure you're going into the room right now. Even on my time, I'm not sure if the room's open, but it's going to be open for sure by the time you hear this on your end. So make sure 
to get into the room right away. Reaper, Reaper Peeper. Thank you for joining us. Says Lens had to go for dinner. That's rough. Uh, Lens, uh, but Lens stayed throughout the whole thing. But um, Lens had to go to dinner. I guess, but he was, I know he was one of the last people on his squad that was alive. And I'm not sure when he got taken down. But it was a close call for, for that squad. I think they were in a pretty heated battle. Uh, I can't quite remember what happened, though. You probably know better than I. Um, okay. All right. Yeah, the room is open. Let me play some music. And then we're going to get myself... I'm going to get myself in. Uzi Killer B, 4G, some cheetahs. Um, if you have evidence of any wrongdoing, let us know. We need that in order to assess whether anybody is cheating in this game or utilizing a third, uh, a, a third party software. Um, those are things that are important to us because we don't, we don't want to spread rumors that we don't know. It's purely based on uh, evidence. So if you have any, always let us know whether that is uh and whether they admit it or they uh or you have like video evidence of it otherwise it's a speculation and we don't want to go by rumor let's go to the uh the studio how do you guys like this video because i don't th it's, it's definitely not as high qual like uh, my camera i should say my camera is not as high quality as what I was using before. I'm still testing it just to see if I can utilize it. There does seem to be a little harshness on the green screen. You can already tell exactly where that line is. The fact that you can tell means that the green screen is, uh, it's not that the green screen's fault. It's just the, the way the lighting is working on the green screen to the camera uh, lens. So I'm trying to get the lighting to work perfectly for this. It seems like it's not quite reaching its goal. It's close. Like, you can definitely see through it, obviously. But we want perfect, right? So, it's a work in progress. I'm use, I'm trying to use my camera for other things as well. So, uh, and that's going to be part of the stream soon. Still going to work on that. Uh, I've been uh, building up uh, a new side, a new uh, scene for you guys. But that's going to be coming up soon. All right, this game's going to start. Next game's going to start at 8. 47 right now for me it's 8:40. we have a few minutes delay so you guys might be thinking it's really closer than the, that you know it's not 8 40 for you guys or now it's 8 41 for me but um for you guys it's probably way later so make sure to get in we're gonna start in roughly six minutes as far as you watching this How you guys doing, by the way? I don't think I asked that question. Jeez, do I even care about you guys? Apparently not. How's you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a good, good night so far. Staying safe out there. It's such a crazy time. I just watched the um, the debate the other day. A lot better than the first one, that's for sure. But um, I think it's pretty clear who the better candidate is. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, you know. From my point of view, I don't know if you guys care about politics, but my point of view, both candidates are pretty bad. There's just one candidate that's better, and that's why I'm voting for one of them. And that's Biden, by the way. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned that. Um, whatever political choice you have, just make sure, and if you're obviously a voting age and you're going to vote, just be informed. Figure out what is important to you, which one holds the better policies for you, and um, go with that. If you're not in voting age, you can always be an activist, as a lot of young people are. I say that like I'm old or something. I guess I consider myself... I don't know what I consider myself. I feel like I'm young, but hell, who knows? Um... But yeah, you can be an activist, try to get people to vote in the way you want them to vote. 
That means... What does that mean? <laughs> I guess that means, you know, calling your representatives. That's particular. Um, but also, I don't know, it's hard. I, I feel like it'd be very difficult. If you're not in the voting age, what do you do? What did I do when I was not in voting age? Mostly I didn't really care about politics. I don't think politics isn't as, as important as a, as, a, as a kid, at least in my, when I was a kid, um, which was in the 90s. Politics was like a thing that, you know, adults paid attention to. You didn't really care about. It was just there. Um, it definitely wasn't like in the forefront of mainstream media. It's just something. And uh, at least in my view, I might have just gotten older and figured out that it's more important. But, um, but yeah, I feel like now, like, uh, almost everybody, and no matter what age group, unless you're, like, a child child, um, has, like, some care, like, a big, like, a pretty major care of politics today. But I digress. Uh, I, what did I say? 8.47 we're gonna start, so three minutes? Yeah, three minutes from now, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a like on YouTube. If you guys enjoy, also make sure to follow and subscribe. Uh, if you're following on Twitch, that'd be awesome. And subscribe on YouTube. Uh, if you want to support me monetarily, super chats are open and bits are open on Twitch. And also buffs on Omelette Arcade as well. So just uh, thoughts in mind. But really, I just want you guys to enjoy the show. Have fun and all that uh, good stuff. I've been uh, you know. building up. I want to hear double me. That's not what I want to do. Yeah, I took the um, I took my Monday off. Usually I stream Monday. Um, what do I do? Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Uh, Monday did not feel well, so I took that day off. Tuesday I streamed, and then um, today, obviously. So. I don't know. I'm thinking of doing more scrimmages hosted by other people uh, to kind of get to, to kind of do more. Because that's the thing I really do enjoy. I really want to do more broadcasting. Um, and, you know, if there's an opportunity you think would be great for me, definitely hit me up. I'm open. Like, I don't, like, hold my Discord or Twitter to, like, a set amount of people. If you have, like, things that you want to talk to me about for real, hit me up. And uh, I'll definitely have a discussion with you. Happy to be. Uh, I want to be able to hear you guys out, especially you, those of you who are competing, uh, but also those who are just watching and enjoying themselves and think like, oh, he can do a lot better if he did X. Let me know. You did codes on stream. I know I did, but you know what? It was fine. I don't. I don't think we're gonna have uh, an influx of people coming in from that. Uh, today, we're just not getting a lot of views, which is fine. Um, doesn't happen that often, but it happens, so I think we're okay. You select few. Don't use the uh, codes to get into the room. And by the time you hear this, the game's going to be already started, so I guess that doesn't matter. But you guys catch it. This is a closed room, by the way. In case anyone was wondering, actually. This is a closed room event, which means that you have to be registered in order to compete. Uh, it's a scrimmage, so imagine like any other sport scrimmage. It's uh, between a lot of different players um, who are trying to win, uh, in this case, a uh, $80 prize pool uh, that has lasted throughout the month. Rip to Trump. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, if he makes a miracle happen again, that'd be crazy, but I don't think he is, so. Um, it'd, be, it'd be insane. <laughs> it'd be another four years, and you just think, oh my god, no, please. Oh, uh, man. I don't even want to think about that, bro. I really don't. That's How crazy would that be if we had another four years of this insanity? And again, a lot of you guys, well, probably not. I would say... Like maybe, uh, maybe 10% of you might be in favor of Trump. And that's probably taking it pretty conservatively there. Probably less than that. But like, if you are like a Trump supporter, that's all fine. I, I have no problem with Trump supporters. I have a problem with Trump, 
and that Trump supporters. Uh, Alright, let's go. Okay. Green screen's working out pretty well, actually. It kind of looked different on the, um, whatever you call it, the, uh, the studio. Uh, but, uh, this looks fine. Maybe it looks a little different if I move around or something, I don't know. Let's see. Alright, so yeah, when we go up here, you can see a little bit of a difference there. I don't know. Like, I do want it perfect, but... It's a little harder, it's easier said than done for some reason, it just doesn't want to fix itself. So, let's take out the music and get the game going. Got match number two coming up. 61 people in the room. We've added two people from last match. Good luck, as I said just seconds ago, in this one. Uh, it is Erangel. It's obviously, um, I always say this, the OG map of them all. It's just the one that you probably know by by sure, uh, for sure. PS Six X Gaming, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. I uh, hope you're having a good one. Hope you're enjoying the show, and uh, just relax. Put your feet back. Maybe get some popcorn. Maybe get a soda, a drink, whatever, and just uh, enjoy. Just enjoy. Uh, this is all for you, man. Just for you, and for a bunch of people who are watching as well. Um. We got Primoris that seems to have two different teams heading in that direction. Team 14's a bit separated. Everyone dropped in their own accord. Uh, it looks like Gara stopped early. This is not necessarily where you want to stop, in the middle of the ocean. But uh, who knows, maybe that'll work out. Team 16 and 14. Let's take a look at this because uh, not only are they really close, you can see A511 right under Spicy and the rest of Unknown Alpha. But you got 4G on that left side that has already hit uh, the, to, to the bottom. Uh, and now you can see a little bit of separation here. It does seem like Unknown should be able to grab a gun. Meanwhile, A51, who we're just going to take a quick look at, is going to try to grab the car. I think he should be able to, unless unless Spicy and... So, oh, there you go. All right, so they drop down. They should be able to drive off. I don't think Unknown is going to be able to reach. He's going to use a shotgun. <laughs> Let me just hit him with a shotgun, and that should work out. No, no, no. So uh, there you go. They separated out. 4G obviously knows there's still one. Garrus still... Oh, I thought Garrus was still in the sky. But Garrus taking a boat around Promorsk. I'm not sure where the thought process is here. But apparently, this is the move. Uh, if anyone knows the meta of why Garrus went to the boat first. Because you're not going to have loot. You're, you, might be able, you might drive into enemies who's going to be on your right side soon enough. There's four gamers. Um, but I guess it's okay. I'm so confused why they use this boat. Oh, Gara used the boat. It's got to head all the way over. You can see that a lot of Team 14 players are out, but, uh, or away from Pomorsk. Uh, but let's take a look at the rest, because we don't want to fixate on that. We still have pretty much everyone left. We actually lost two people now. Oh, Pachinki has more. Oh my god, I didn't realize. I saw Pachinki and didn't think... There was overlap here, but apparently there's really overlap that it's hard to tell. Skittles is knocked for Mindless Outlaws. Two players on that far side there. Fool, it seems to... I uh, bet he was the one that caused it as he's closest to Skittles. He's looking in their direction as well. There's Varys. Or Varys over there on the right side. S.O.N. definitely holding C4 down. Or it could be the other way around. Cy Young trying to get a better angle on Fool for sure. He's trying to use his TPP view so he doesn't hard peek it. But there's Fool rotating back. Cy Young almost getting taken down, but stays alive. Gets behind the bar barrier here. A grenade would be perfect if he had one, but I'm guessing Sabuun doesn't. So no grenade throw for this time around. Cyanide. Just picked up the player there was not here when we got here. Both of them on the second floor of the building. Cy Young. Again, a grenade would be perfect from both sides if they have them. Sky Cy Young has a helmet. It's got a vest. So good equipment so far. And I think that was an AK or an M7. It's a nice skin, whatever it is. Skittles with a UMP. 
Now we got a bit of a silent mode between these three teams. Grenade finally coming around. Oh, getting shot in the side. He's not going to be able to use it. And he will get knocked. And so Cyanide will probably go into that room and get this revive. But maybe not. As SON is making a full-fledged push with at least two of their players, I should say. Right now, Zionide does get that revive beautifully on Skittles. In SON, I guess they just wanted to get a little bit closer. Getting ready for the ultimate push. Maybe this grenade cutting in almost. Getting them knocked, but no. They will stay alive. So right now, Prashant and Fluffy rotating closer. SON did great last game. And there, Zionide gets out. Gets a knock on Fluffy. Good job. But gets knocked down in return as he goes for the thirst. Luckily, Skittles doesn't peek out too long, but gets taken down there by Cy Young. So S.O.N., who did fantastic the first match, they did pretty well here. But they do get one less person on the board for their squad. So we'll see if they can uh, hang tight for the rest of the game as a three-person. But odds usually are a little bit tighter when you start losing players. Obviously. I don't think I need to describe to, to describe why that happened. Now you do have uh, C4 as a full squad, and they're really tight together. Seems like they're looting the same buildings across the way, which isn't a bad idea. You know, being close means that if one player gets knocked, you can all make sure you can help out in some fashion. It's just that it's going to take a little bit longer to loot if you're all looting the same buildings over and over. Heading over to Team 16. We still got Primorsk Battle here. Looks like 4G just rotating in front of Spicy and not taking any damage because of it. Spicy is alone on this side and he might get shot on the side for basis if he's not too careful. But right now his main priority seems to be in front of him. He can hear all the footsteps. Luckily that grenade didn't go far enough. Basis should be able to see him, no? No, I guess a little bit of that house is protecting Spicy. What a close call for Spicy right there. Just a little bit protruding out would have been it. I'm kind of surprised he's, Basis isn't going to the right window. That's all he really needs to do. Just go to the, his left window. He'll be able to easily see Spicy, but he's not utilizing that. And so Spicy may have a chance with a 1v2. Takes care of them first. And he's not afraid of it. I like it how he's not afraid. He's going after this. One really rotating to the right. He's got an AK. And luckily he doesn't take too much damage there. But he is roughly half health. And there's the damage on top. He really had a hard time looking to Siraj. And obviously he wasn't looking to the left to hit uh, Akilla there. So it's 4G. Good work together. Um... The, you know, they weren't able to, to get that initial shot off and, and do the work as uh, Siraj was, I think it was Siraj, trying to do it. But it really didn't matter because they had, they could afford and not an immediate kill there. KC, I think someone just died. Uh, and it might have been DR13. Dre or Dry, I guess. Um, as for, uh, Rat Pack Gaming has all of their players still intact. So it must have been from Team 7. So Rat Pack Gaming... Seemingly in the driver's seat of this one. Team 4 is completely set. Uh, I was going to say Team 4 was separate. Team 7 is completely separated. You see two of their players in Severni. The other player, I have no idea where the other player is. Oh, is driving. He's actually driving to his teammates. All right, that's a good idea. Might be able to just pick them up and leave. Or kind of stick around and try to battle this one out. But uh, leaving might be a better option. As it is a 3v4 scenario. Unless they feel real confident... That they can take out this team. That might be the better option. Team 8 is uh, looking good. Team 5. What's up with Team 5 there? Because I see them right next to Team 22. So it looks like a new squad went to Pachinki. And they're on top of the church. It is C4. And you can see they're being cautious. I don't know if they realize that there's a team here. But you can tell they're not going straight into town thinking we can just loot up this place without any repercussions. One of their teammates already left, or two of their teammates might have just left. And for some reason, Sabuun and Fool are chilling. Two of their teammates have rotated to the left side. They're going to take this building. 
so now they got two at church, two at the, um, I call that the island house. I'm not sure if you guys call that too, but kind of just separate from the rest of uh, Pachinki. Team seven and four. We did. We still have KC who has one player down and out. Team four with Rat Pack Gaming. Still a team of four. So there's Gino grabbing the car. And Renata has his own car as well. So they're probably going to be out of here. Uh, picking up Zeth. And that should pretty much make this a bit of a draw. Eric, thank you for joining in. Says hi. Welcome. So it looks like some of the C4 players on the left are shooting across. That could be good bait as well. If they don't know that there's players at church, that might lead to a rotation from SON to kind of cut in front of C4 here and maybe expose themselves as they try to battle the rest of their team on that solo island uh, house. But also C4 is like in the, their rotation. So let's see where they want to rotate to. Shots fired as SON. There's Cy Young. Uh, Ramak gets knocked and Good Boy gets knocked immediately. And that probably was from Prashant. Yes, it was. From the top of the roof. That's huge. And Cy Young is going to be easily picking them off. They know they're in the second floor. Cy Young continues to shoot the window, pre firing it in case they want to peek over. Goes for the thirst there. Now they got two. Will they continue to go forward and get two more? Finishing up C4. One jumps out with Sabawoon. Fool trying to shoot from the second floor. Sabawoon is out. So Fool's the only one left. And I don't think they got anyone knocked on this. They throw a grenade down. That's a good idea for Fool. Hoping for them to just cr catch the crossfire there. I don't think so. And all the players are still fine. Let's take a view from the outside looking in. So we got three people there. So maybe C4 was able to take down one. I could be wrong about that. No, SON was short one from the beginning on this battle. So it's still a 3v1. C4 who had four people going into this is now left with one. That is a crazy problem for Fool especially. Now he can try to hold his own here. He needs to, now obviously, good thing for uh, Sun SOM because they do not want this chaos. They do not want the smoke here. They want it to be, they want it to be a straight up 3v1. The thing though, is it seems like four gamers are on that other end cutting in. They're not quite close enough though. We just see their tags, but they are quite a distance away. Good job to start this one off. He needs to reload. Luckily, he does in time. Will he try to continue this? Because it's a 1v2. Now he's getting shot in the back. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. But I think he was just trying to look out the window, maybe. To see if they were going to come out. Unfortunate, wasn't paying attention to the stairs where it was easy for Prashant to come up. So Sion got knocked. He will get revived. C4 continued to rotate out. As far as I can tell at this point. C 23. We got Executioner's Blade with Lynx here. Team 16. Shots fired with the M16 trying to hit Reaper. But it seems like Reaper is going to be able to get away uh, as the trees are covering his view. On the bottom, yeah, see uh, G, uh, 4G continues to wrap around. There's nobody going to Pachinki there, so they're all going to leave that. Legends SS going uh, from the left side, going in. Ruins there. Uh, but yeah, no one's at ruins, so safe as well. Team 11, Legends AJ, who's by himself, has a whole team, and he, he can, you know he's just trying to not move and stay silent, and it, luckily that works as KC continued to drive off, and they are going farther and farther away. So AJ dodges a uh, figurative bullet, and uh, will try to survive for the rest. He's in the zone, which is good. So I think he'll try to camp a house or something. We got Snipey with Porky here. His HP is on top, driving by. 
Doesn't seem like they notice each other. Has that now they're gonna be driving in separate directions. I don't know where the next battle will be. It's still a question mark. Team 14 has taken a particular house, and we might see a team drive by on the road in this direction. There they are. There's HP, bang, and anxiety. So far, no shots. Joanne M. Shooting at anxiety. Getting a few hits there, but not quite enough for, for a significant hit. We got a longer range shots hitting the cars and they want to protect that. Also hitting the players as A511 is knocked out. Thirsted out of the game as two left for TG. HP having separate positions here. And we got a push as well. Justin and Anxiety coming in close. Anxiety lost some health as he drops in. Gara getting shot and there it is. Anxiety's out. Justin throwing out to... Oh! Gets grenaded! Justin right on top of it. Perfect position for Joanne M to uh, work that one out. But needs, to, needs more. Needs more for sure. Another grenade could work out. Throws out another grenade. Cooks it, but unfortunately, it will not have the same luck twice. So TG, I mean the HP, is just waiting until they get their revive. They can afford to do this. There's only one person left. Anxiety tries to go in there. Bit of a mistake, but it doesn't matter. Joanne actually gets taken down by a grenade. Good throw to that middle window. Uh, and anxiety will get revived. So that was a close call though And that's the reason why I said they probably shouldn't push with a knocked player There's often times I would say a majority of your times if you have a knocked player You don't want to continue your push. There are gonna be some you know Oh, he threw a grenade. That's gonna indicate a person's around and executioner's blade links That's a risky move especially since the grenades are not even getting close to this so He's going to try to rotate out. Shots are coming in. And he goes right back to the rock that he started. So now they know exactly where Lynx is. And um, they have all four of their players. Uh, not, the, uh, not the option you really want to do, as I said before. But he's attempted it now. And there's no turning back. So we'll see what he can do, though. Just looking up top, seeing if there's something. But uh, it looks like Wu U turn got a knock on the minimap. Let me take a look and see where that possibly could be. Every time I look away, there's a gunshot, so... Lynx is a bit in trouble. Uh, HP, they probably can just take a car and push this forward with, like, all their players at different cars. That would 100% work. Um, they don't need to do this long-range battle. The oh, no. When did Bang get over here? Good thing for Bang. So, HP... Uh, Probably thinks there's one person, but they might be worried that there's a whole gang somewhere around. Um, which is really peculiar. I'm really surprised Bang isn't going to the watchtower. Just to see an angle on Lynx, because they know exactly where they are. Vaughn Kushmark, welcome back to the stream, man. Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Thank you for tuning in. Um, but I'm kind of surprised Lynx isn't getting pushed by Bang here. As he pushes back. So, not sure why, but... Uh... Uh, there's always something that people do that I do not understand. The legend himself. It is me. I. H Crusader. Here to solve all your mobile gaming issues. No. Um, here to provide the best content you'll ever see. Obviously, yes. That's a guarantee. Uh, smoke Throne. Yeah, I don't know what his moves is here. I mean, obviously, his best move was... Maybe 10 minutes ago to get out of here, but now that that's unavoidable, there's only choices to stick around. I'm really surprised Bang isn't pushing. I'm like 100% wondering when that's going to happen. Like, it's just bound to happen. Lynx is stuck. There's no option for him to back away. And Bang is just back there. Slowly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't tell me. Alright, I gotta stick around for that. No. <laughs> No, okay, they're taking vehicles. Justin gets closer. He's shooting at him. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought Bang was going to come in with a pan. But uh, that is not the case. Yeah, that's what I expected Bang to do from like five minutes ago. 
And yet, uh, he took his sweet ass time. <laughs> Don't know why, but there you go. Anyway, enough of that confusion. Let's head over to uh, the different teams and see what's going on. So Wu turn, uh, U turn has uh, HP. Got an HP player down. Let's see where that is. Is that outside the zone? No. Somewhere, but I can't figure out where. Oh, there. So, bang is knocked. Uh, there's execution of feel pain is knocked. As he is thirsted out as well. Wu U turn is getting hit badly. It stays alive. He's able to grab the loot and probably heal himself right now. So, good thing for uh, U-Turn here is that he is um, across the river. He can actually back away from this. He has a teammate back there as well he can just kind of run back to. It would be longer range shots that HP might be able to make contact here. But if he throws a good smoke just behind him, that should cover his bases to get away if he wanted to. He also has a bolt action, so if he wanted to really stick around, he could use that as well. But if I was him, I'd just throw one straight back and use that smoke to just run backwards to uh, just Lloyd. Why didn't you throw one right behind you? Why didn't you wait for this smoke to come out? Poor U-turn. I oh man, that's what I was thinking. Like I don't, I didn't understand. <laughs> I'm like, I see him running. I'm like, that's not the time to run. He's getting lucky, not getting knocked. And there you go, he does get knocked. So I don't, I don't get that one. Two times where I don't get the choices teams uh, or players made there. Both on the same team, I think, as well. Nah, they usually, I mean, you know, sometimes they, you have those, you know, just not thinking straight. But uh, that was certainly one of those times. And now you're left with just Lloyd by himself in this Yeti suit. He's got Team 12 in front. Driving by, doesn't seem to have a care in the world for that particular player. And SYC. Agent 47, SYC Cat. Actually, they do stop, and they probably will go after him. They probably heard the footsteps moving around, so that's why they stop here. They might have a battle. Team 21 crossed it, already crossed the river. And it looks like HP Justin has moved forward. I'm thinking U-Turn's probably telling him, hey, there's a person there, there's a person there. And Just Lloyd is uh, in the car needs to go especially since uh, there's enemies who can probably hear this cart no shots on Lloyd yet as he's making a huge rotation around that seems to have worked to get out of the way heading over to team 11 as legend AJ who's again by himself gets legend SS so both legends teams are in play and one of them is out of the game. Legend DR might be next on the chopping block. As he sees him. And he could not win it. DR wins that one outright. And now is left on his own. No, he is taken down by low lives. And low lives, I think last time had one person. I'm glad they were able to get their full squad good to go. Um... But yeah, Rat, uh, here we have Rat Pack Gaming all holding the same particular house. It's not a bad house to hold, actually. Uh, HP. Getting close to Team 8, so we probably will see a battle. Yes, we do. Buddha is knocked. As the rest of COS is on top of the hill. They might be able to try to hit him down. He's got an Ego, has a 6x scope with a scar trying to use the long range spray. Hard to handle the recoil unless you put that to it 3 times. Ego using a bolt action, I believe, an M24. Not making contact and definitely taking damage. Buddha needs a revive and nobody seems to be able to do so. And might not be for the rest of the game. It actually seems impossible for them to pick him up unless they take all of HP out. And that just seems uh, nearly impossible. Thank you for that. That is, uh, thank you for the host. That's a dumb old guy. Thank you for the five uh, people hosting. Uh, hosting me, I guess that's a way to word that. I don't usually get that, and I uh, appreciate it. Uh, COS Death, gonna go for that revive on Buddha. It actually worked out. I didn't think they were gonna be able to get this, but you know, when you just think of a plan, you do it, and you got it. 
Uh, there is a tree that's protecting him, but maybe HP will be able to see him. Luckily, not yet. Ego still holding the top of the hill. That's a great vantage against HP. It really keeps them on the bottom of this hole that they're in. I don't even see anybody there. Oh, there's multiple teams, actually. FBO Carnage throwing a grenade in. Gets the grenade to hit Baby J for the, against the low lives. That's a great starter for this battle, and that's how they end it with some bullets. So there you go. FBO Carnage. Beautiful nade. And then the, the, the ending was just a 1v4, I think, for them. Uh, for FBO. All right, so they take this side of the circle, and this... Probably won't stay for the rest of the game, but it's a good place to hold for now as it's very, very secluded. COS, good shots there from Ego. Getting Andre knocked down as they're trying to drive by. Looks like HP has stopped at the house. They're going to throw some smokes back in order to uh, help the revival process. They also have to be careful of Executioner's Blade, Just Lloyd, who we've seen his teammates get taken down. He's got a bit of work to do to get inside the next zone. Not only does he have a full squad ahead of him if he just wanted to go straight in, but uh, he's got a, he's got the blue zone, obviously, to worry about on his back. Car 98 for Agent 47. He might be going for tires there, I think, on the car, making sure they can't use it. Because uh, definitely no people in his line of sight there. So I think he's just trying to hurt the car. Let's see if those tires are getting hit. Sorry for the frame drops. Yeah, the tires are down. And we got a rotation across. Team 8 is right there. COS still next to HP. They've been battling, but more in a long-range situation. But now it looks like they've creeped up. And HP, even though they had a knock player in that car, that, that was the thing they had to worry about the most. This should be a lot easier for HP to handle. Doesn't mean they're going to win this. But the odds have went way uh, higher for HP to win this than they were just moments ago. Justin has got a grenade ready, but someone's shooting on the left side. As Akilla for 4G gets knocked down. Grenade thrown on each side, but COS does not take any damage from it. I don't know why my camera is not moving quick enough, but there you go. Ego's taking some damage as well. Needs to get behind and get healed up. Does not have the option to as Justin for HP gets the knock. Death gets taken down as well. Buddha, who's just behind the buggy, trying to hit Justin. Justin drop shots and wins it with Andre. And that will be a whole squad wipe for HP. Thank you. Um, we got uh, SON on the bottom here needs to uh oh they actually do have the zone a bit but they need to move in another for them in a minute in uh, roughly 15 seconds so young's throwing some smokes out good idea want to make sure this car is going to be safe to drive anxiety gets knocked out on behalf of hp from 4g you can see basis wanting to get that thirst they blow up the vehicle that did the work for them andre Justin's knocked. Andre and Bang. Cy Young. So it looks like HP has a pretty center for next zone. Not bad, but they gotta be careful. Armored vehicle for bassist. They do like their armored vehicles in these games. FBO Truni using the four time scope. Shooting across, not making contact though, but trying their best. Trini's going to loot up and also get shot at. Luckily, all the bullets missed. Let me just change this out because for some reason it's not working beautifully. So let's smooth this out. Hopefully that will smooth things out just a tad. So SYC Cat able to get a knock on Siraj. Unexpected victim. Korea is coming along as well. 
Sees it, shoots it, hits it. There's a kill for Kowea. Good job from her. Let's see what they can do going forward after that. They got the whole south side to themselves. The whole north is really jam-packed with enemies in all fronts. So I'm sure we're going to see a battle up here before we see a battle with 4G on the bottom with any particular squad. HBO! HB, yeah, HBO gets a knock on Sergeant Wad. A grenade comes in, getting a lot of kills. Captain gets hit with a grenade straight on. And just Lloyd gets that last kill, actually. Unexpected victim for sure. Somehow, some way, Executioner's Blade has been surviving. I, I, you know, we can always critique some teams. Executioner's Blade didn't do so well in the beginning of this match, but just Lloyd has been tremendous going in to the later half of this game. So FBO is going to have a big problem. They need to get into zone from that far. And Just Lloyd is going to continue to have problems. Being by himself and trying to cut in. There's just not real options for him. You can see he's got so many things to worry about. FBO might be able to take a lot of the attention away from Just Lloyd. But HP on that left side. Shots fired on Andre. Andre gets thirsted thanks to Just Lloyd. Who's trying to get some kills. How aggressive as a solo player can that be? 4G Kawia is the only one left. How did that happen? They had a lot of their squad left. Might have had all of them. I'm not sure. But definitely three of them. And now we're left with one. Kawia is getting shot at. Trying to hit him through the smoke. But not making contact at all. Just Lloyd is trying to stay low as well. Bang and Kawia are closest. And Kawia gets taken down by Carnage. Three teams left. More like two individuals in one particular team. And Just Lloyd gets taken down. That was a 1v4 scenario. FBO knows exactly how many people are on the opposite side. And Bang is kind of hoping that maybe there's a few teams out there. Maybe there's four other teams around. But that is just not the uh, the case for Bang. Bang, uh, I'm not sure what his play is. He hears footsteps all around. Trying to shoot from this angle. Gets one. Gets two, needs another one, but needs to reload is definitely the case. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, weakness of uh, bullets. Need to use ten on a person, right? That's that's the play there, which nearly impossible. FBO, well done. Uh, HP, good second place in Executioner's Blade. Well done to scrap a third place for yourselves. Now, uh, we're going to go through all the kills here. We got one more match coming up, so don't go anywhere for that. And uh, if you guys have... Things that you want to talk to me about, feel free to write that in the chat, right? FBO, uh, four for Killer B, three for Carnage, two for the Go To, one for Truni. That is a nice team total there of 10, reaching that double digit mark. Uh, HP, seven for Bang, two for Andre, four for Justin, and one for Anxiety, a team total of 14. So another double digit kill count, really close to FBO in this round. Uh, Executioner's Blade. Uh, gets three total kills just from Just Lloyd, who we saw was trying to hang out at the end there. I'm really surprised they were able to make it through, uh, especially when Just Lloyd was uh, by himself. Uh, going to 4G, they got two apiece from Akilla and Basis. Team total there of four, five, six kills. Rat Pack Gaming with two kills. Nice job, Sergeant Wad, getting those. Unknown Alpha with zero. SYC with zero as well. SON. With a lot of kills. They got 10 total. Congratulations to you guys there. DV is coming in with two kills. COS with two. Uh, Low Lives coming in with two kills. KC with two kills. Legends with one kill from DR. The other Legends team with one kill from AJ. Uh, we do have a... What do we have here? A mixture of a team for sure. I'm not sure what squad. But zero kills for them. TG was zero. C4 was zero. And MO. Um, Mindless Outlaws with, uh, with one from Cyanide. Okie doke. Okie doke. So, that is that for this particular match. We still, again, we got uh, one more match coming up. Uh, make sure all the players, if you're watching, make sure to get into the room right now because the room is going to be open by the time you hear this message. I'm on a delay, so anything you guys write in chat, I will get it immediately. But getting back to you will take some time. So that is why 
you hearing this would be a delay of something that has already something I've already said. So make sure you get into the room. Um, and uh, yeah, the room is open. I see it right now, the code. And uh, just hop in whenever you're good to go. Let me bring you guys to the studio. So yeah, uh, I've been thinking about how to make this camera better. I'm sure there's ways, maybe some settings I can maneuver to make this, uh, I don't know, a little bit more... Because I feel like I'm really whited out as well. So maybe something where... I'm not sure. Something that can... I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> maybe a contrast on the camera or something. You can see like whenever I move closer to the camera, something changes and then move farther away. And like it really whitens me out. So I don't know. We'll figure it. I'll figure it out. That's what I'll do in a later time. Uh, Game Boy Hide. He he day GBH interesting name welcome it says hi hi to you welcome welcome um, if you guys are watching uh, and you're watching on YouTube I appreciate it if you leave a like only if you enjoy the show obviously uh, but if you do a like helps me a lot and obviously it's free too so if you want to support what I'm doing leaving a like is huge if you leave if we get ten likes on YouTube I will do a very cringy dab. If you don't, if you've never seen a very cringy dab, it's just me doing a dab. I feel really, I feel like my soul dies every single time I do it, and it's super uncomfortable for me. So if you want to make me do something super uncomfortable because you just want to see me destroy my soul, make sure to leave a like on YouTube. All right. Uh, thank you guys on on Omelet Arcade on Twitch too. Appreciate it. If you guys have anything you want to add, hit me up as I always say. Uh, to, not tomorrow. On Tuesday, we're holding our $300 prize pool COD Mobile scrimmage. So if you're interested in competing in that, you got to go to our Discord, and you can do that. Very simply put. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's generally it right there. <laughs> oh, we got we got hot tea. And we got cold tea. I think this one's too hot. I feel like I'm a bit hot myself. And cold tea is not, it's not iced tea, it's a cold tea, um, so it's not cold brew either, which cold brew I think only applies to coffee, if I'm not mistaken, actually. But, uh, yeah, just saying. What do I want to do here? The camera's a bit off, isn't it? I have myself in the corner, yeah. Put myself in the corner there. Uh, that actually helped, why? I guess because it got the mic that's super black contrasting me I don't know but that's a better view I think I need lighting on my left side that's what I need that's what I need but I think this wire is not gonna go far enough yeah I'm just gonna leave it there for now I need this like super left side okay Get some music going. What kind of music? Let's go with upbeat. I want something upbeat. This is like a little techno upbeat. Oh, we'll see. All right, the game's gonna start at 9:32. That's your time. So, 9:32 your time. Uh, I'm on a few minutes delay, as I said before. So, watching this is gonna start a little bit later for me. It's going to start roughly in six minutes. Six minutes. I'm going to show you guys the team list uh, right now. I want you guys to tell me who you think is, well, one, winning. I'm not exactly sure who's winning at this point. Excuse me. But if you guys have a team that you really want to root for in general, let me know. Okay? Appreciate it. So there they are. Our competitors for tonight. Um, so why are they battling it out? Well, for plot, for pride, for pride, for glory, and a nice cool $80 prize pool at the end of the road. Um, this is the last week for this particular month. We're going to do, uh, we're going to have more scrims every week. They're going to have prize pools, but we're doing it differently. 
Uh, instead of having a whole month worth of prize pool for $80, we're gonna kind of separate that out. So every week you'll have a chance to win a $20 prize pool in our event. Um, if you wanna have a chance to win that, it's super easy to sign up on our Discord. Uh, we're gonna be opening up registration by the time this scrimmage is over. So right when this is done, when, right when the stream is done, I uh, will be opening it up. Everyone has an equal opportunity to sign up. And you really suggest that you sign up first because it is a first come first serve experience. So again, the description, you see the discord on the bottom right of your screen too there. You can't click that, but if you want to type that in, feel free. It's also, as I said, in the description, the about page, you can click that and that will easily bring you over to our server where all the information, all the signups happen. getting myself into the room now get myself into the room that's not a song but I felt like it was mm. maybe I should make a PUBG mobile song what do you guys think think we can pull one off It'll be the best song ever. It's an odd song. So I'm not I'm not against it. It actually feels nice. Okay, let me bring you guys back. Also, we had Kurt stream the other time. I kind of forgot about that moment. We last week we had a uh, PUBG Mobile scrimmage um, on this particular day, but last week we had Kurt, Naked Kurt, uh, stream one of his first times uh, casting an event. Uh, my internet was completely bone dry, and I needed to repair it. Still do actually. There's um. There's a wire outside that needs to be fixed. It's super old, they say, and they need somebody with a bucket, whatever. Um, but I had to fix my internet. He filled in perfectly, did a great job, and um, I had really enjoyed the stream watching it. So, um, yeah, just that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, if you guys think of casting opportunities that you think Naked Esports is uh, perfect for, uh, give me a holler. Nick, welcome to the stream, says howdy. What's up? What's up, Ninja? How's it going? What's... How's it do? What's, what's it do? How's it do? Why don't you do game highlights anymore, says Reaper Peeper. Um, good question. That's been something I've been trying to get back into. Uh, main reason? There really isn't one. I mean, uh, we had some pretty good success with doing highlights uh, it's just take it's hard to find a steady editor that I trust to do editing well um, otherwise if you just try to grab like the run-of-the-mill editor they're just gonna cut and do that just cut and I'm looking for someone who has like a lot of talent that can edit it the way I imagine it um, and the more talent obviously the more it costs too and I'm not made out of money completely so uh, it's a matter of finding someone I trust and obviously that can do it at a price that works for me and um, yeah it's uh, um, I had some some good stuff happen in the past with with editors but um, it's hard to find consistent editing and it's like it's like um, it's mostly run on trial by error because you try one editor, and you give a lot of time trying to tell them what you want, and um, and 
I like I have this beautiful image in my head of what I want in my like uh, edits and my in my video but a lot of that has to you know be skill like you have to be able to know how to do it and you have to actually be able to understand how I want it even if I tell you you probably you might think of a whole different thing that I said because again I don't speak in editing I, I speak in layman's term <laughs> so um, I can try my best to explain things but I think it's on me to because I just don't know what it'd be called to do X or Y but yeah we're gonna try to get that back for sure I've been uh, talking with different editors. Uh, I tried to get one up last week, but the editor could not download the stuff. And so that kind of fell through, but it is in the works for sure. I do want to bring that back. Okay. So as you can see, Bikindi is our last stop here. All the players will jump out and try to kill each other. And hopefully they'll be the last one standing questionable but we will see uh, a lot of kills will probably be on the board and that's what we're gonna try to focus on if there's teams that are close together we'll head there first if uh, they're far apart we're gonna avoid that because that's not something that's necessarily going to be action right so let's just take a look at the action we got team 10 and team 18 dropping close to each other FBO and who's the other squad legends uh, KC is dropping to Dobro that seems to be their spot that's going to be all on their own. Let's take a look at this because they're dropping off uh, first teams. One of the first teams dropping in. And there's a, a Legend SS. So he's trying to just float a little bit farther out. I think he'll be able to get away with that. Uh, and we'll move on to Team 6 and Team 4. They're going to be dropping in together. Where are they here? Are they at uh, Coal Mine area? A roughly Coal Mine area, but uh, definitely a town outside of it. And one team's going to take the middle of town. The other has went farther. And to, uh, they probably wanted that town, but then they already dropped in. And they're like, nah, let's move away from that. They'll need to get loot somewhere else, though. Team 22. Fluffy getting the, the gunshots with the handgun. That is a hard gun to use. And the fact that you went up to the roof to try to get that uh, knock is quite impressive. So Legend on the other rooftop. This could be an interesting angle here. Might be able to hit him on top if uh, Prashant stays up top. Race car suit pushed forward. He's the closest one to the enemies at this moment. I'm sure he was heard getting here. And that should let SON know to be a little uh, weary next to the church here. Right now a lot of SON players aren't quite here on race car soup's angle good strafing action as race car soup wins his 1v1 doesn't go for the knockout and that should make son make a decision here to go for the revive or go for the uh the kill against race car soup that's always a good thing to do i think especially with this close range race car soup and the rest of their squad for syc they're not wanting to leave this they want to go for the whole squad so leaving him alive is just going to put extra work on your enemies and that might be the difference maker trying to get kills here Woohoo! i didn't even see him but loki was back there and son had a flanker good thing he noticed the footstep because i heard that i'm like oh is that a teammate good grenade but it wasn't cooked and wasn't going to reach Loki as he was able to run off to the other direction. Race car soup rotating around the rock. Both of them now getting awfully close. Pre-fire from Loki there. And race car soup trying to use that TPP view around the rock. Loki gets back around the rock. Both of them going after it. And he wins another strafe 1v1 battle. Now Fluffy just got revived. So unfortunately race car soup couldn't stick around. For that, uh, to get the knockout on this side. Instead, he was able to get a knockout on that side. But that was double the work for one kill. But SYC has been on a tear. Especially Racecar, who's just been annihilating any 1v1 situation he was in. So now the separation seems to have been evident now. 
Uh, we got separation between multiple squads here now. Team 8 is quite separated between themselves. Is We see that a lot on this map because there are so many places, so many li little compounds that you can take and loot up uh, and eventually meet together again. And I think that makes sense on this map. Only on this map, though, I would, I would suggest doing that. There are teams that like to do that regardless of where they go, but it's hard to do on other maps because in this one in particular, they're all so close. All these compounds, there's one, I don't know, for every 100 meters. So you might as well do that to maximize your loot process. And you're not going to be too far away in case a player on your team is, is getting affected by an enemy squad. Uh, 4G, they took Zabava. Or at least Basis did. Yeah, the rest of the team did as well for the most part. We saw KC drop here to Dobro. Looks like they're still here. And might be driving out. Yep, driving out as we speak. Enemy on their left with Killer B for FBO. And they're just going to pass by that compound that he's in. Team 14 probably going to meet up at Volnova, but they're going to have to move again as the zone will push them out eventually. Team 23 was getting close to an enemy, but it looks like they're driving off. And I think uh, Executioner's Blade Lynx was looking over. Probably thought, probably heard Rat Pack Gaming. Um, but they have definitely left now. We got Cosmodrome taken by Team 19. The devious team. Nitsua, Clouds, Mommy, and Squad Wiper. That's a very uh, direct team uh, player name right there, Squad Wiper. What's your name, Squad Wiper? I know, but like, what's your name? I don't quite know. Um, low Lives, Train Wrecker, Dooms Wreck, Dooms Wreck, Train Oh Train Wreck, Dooms Wreck, Storm and Shinigami. They got a vehicle. I forgot what the name of this vehicle, but it is very mobile. It's quick. But it's the worst part about it is that it doesn't do well with damage. A few bullets will start to make it blow up, and you do not want to be around in that vehicle when you start getting shot at. SON, they've been pretty successful in this game so far, um, in the previous two matches. Loki has been taken down already, though. So Fluffy, Cy Young, and Prashant, who all have been competing throughout the match. Uh, no subs for this squad. Um, they're going to have to do this as a three-person. We'll see if that changes their way they move. Will they be more conservative, or will they try to uphold their aggressiveness that they've uh, pretty much shown throughout the, the previous matches? Unknown with Lens, Spicy, and Reaper. I know Lens, but someone said that he needed to get dinner or something. But, uh, is back, apparently. I'm just looking at, uh, chat, seeing if anything changed. Team 12, SYC, they've lost Daisy. They still got three others. Race Car Soup was the main guy who was able to get that one kill that they have on the board right now. They're close to the edge of zone. This zone is not going to hurt too much, even if they get stuck out here for the moment. Um, but they don't have to move a few more meters. So that should work out beautifully. There's a drop coming in. Let's see what's inside. Is a flare drop, so they called this one in. AWM and a Groza. That's a great combination. Probably one of the best combination drops you're going to get in this game. Now, FBO probably see that drop and thinking, we're really close to enemies right now. Should we go after it? Well, it doesn't seem like they're going after it right now. They're actually running across the open uh, sn uh, snow-covered fields, but uh, it is okay to do at this point. They have a little bit of hill here. It prevents KC from looking over to get these shots. On this map, you really do want to have vehicles. It is pretty good to have although compounds are close there's not a lot of places to hide in between each compound in the compound yes there's a lot of them so you can hide in compounds pretty easily but if you're trying to get from a to b you're going to want to have a card because when you leave a compound you just saw that run over the field there he was pretty exposed the entire way through luckily no one was around to shoot lego 2 is running back seems to be okay though again Gotta be careful not to overly do that. It looks like a lot of FBO players are 
just thinking we can just run this out. Truni, apparently he was getting shot at. Here's an AWM toward Truni. We'll see if Gino can get this hit as he's trying to make good contact. But Truni's not making a move. No, now he's moving. Let's see if he gets shot. So far, not. How is he not getting shot? I don't even hear a bullet going through. Ninja Hyper, welcome to the stream. Yeah, he's able to draw, uh, run off. I really thought they were going to have their angle there, but apparently not. Heading over to a particular battle is SON shooting at Reaper, part of Unknown Alpha. Spicy's already knocked. Reaper, I might, I think, is yeah, alone now. Yeah, Lens is already knocked out. And Reaper gets taken down for Cy Young. That is going to be a complete squad wipe. And that will be some extra kills on the board. SYC apparently all getting into this vehicle. Where are they going to go? They're going away from zone. But I wonder why. Team 8 is cutting closer to middle zone. You got to be careful not to bang their cars into trees. Create some dents. You know how much these cars cost? You know how much I paid for it to, for you guys to use those cars? Be more careful next time for COS here. Circles on of silence. Oh, CO oh my god, he just ran over his teammate. Alright, so C4 and COS. Same compound. And we already saw C4 shoot, so both teams know. Sabawoon getting awfully close to, to one side with Buddha there. Chopstick seems to be healing. Mr. Sabawoon is super close. You can see he's already in the compound. In the same house, next to them in the same house. He backs away from it. Because he can't really cover all of his angles there. Especially, you know, that'd be a problem. If, his, if he got knocked and he's already across enemy to enemy lines, that would be a big problem hurdle for the rest of their teammates to deal with so right now what c4 is waiting for is an opening they can get a knock they'll probably push distance they're right next to each other same thing goes for cos but right now i think they're probably just being defensive here i don't expect them to peek too much maybe they'll use a tpp view you can see buddha rotating to the right that's a good idea they need to change things up because all their positions are already known on that left side chopstick and death where they're at they know exactly that there's people there I don't know if they know exactly that where Buddha is, if they know that one guy rotated to the right. That can change a lot. Got a vert grip. So while both teams got up and close and personal, no extra battles happening. Again, I think C4 is waiting for an opportunity to get a knock here. If uh, COS peeks out too much, they'll get the knock and then they'll try to push that after. They're just getting in pos positions ready to push. Now, I think C4 has advantage. They probably can push this regardless. Because um, I don't think COS is really doing a great job holding the line here. Um, I could be wrong about that. COS Buddha gets a knock on C4 Ramat, so apparently I am wrong. As Ramat apparently made a mistake on their own right. Good boy's closest one. Will he try to get that revive is the question. Seems like nobody's rotating around. Buddha. Buddha has a smoke for himself here. Good boy's so close to Ramat right now. Does get to Ramat and closes the door so he can get the revive inside rather than out. COS, are they going to try to leave or are they sticking around? It looks like they're still sticking around. Chopsticks pushing forward. Chopsticks inside the house. Tries to hit him on the roof. Gets him on the roof. COS. Sabuun's right there. He had to hop off because he was reloading. He hops to the first floor. Chopstick does not win it. But his teammates come in to save the day. And Sabawoon will be knocked. Fool is still knocked on that second floor on the roof. 
And he's trying to crawl back to his teammates. Smoke's thrown in their direction. Fool's hoping for those things to work. And you see good boy Ramat holding back on that side. COS, good work so far. Three people against three people. Let's look around, making sure we don't miss anything else. We're going to head over to Team 18 now. FBO. As things render in. We'll have a better view of what the hell is going on. Race car soup apparently got another kill here. As he is just on, on a tear. Three knocks in a row, two kills in a row. So Carnage is out. Killer B, Rooney, and Lagotu are going to do this as a three-person squad. They definitely have enough experience to handle that type of uh, responsibility. But will SYC put an end to that? FBO is definitely being defensive here. Not even trying to see where SYC is. At least from Legotu's positioning. He's a little bit in a dangerous position too. Anyone that comes in from behind will have an easy view on him. So anyone on that angle, pretty much 180 degrees side. So that's a little bit of a problematic spot. But they know there's enemies inside the compound. So that's why he's holding that, holding the wall. Heading back over to COS as a grenade is thrown to the right. Chopstick sees Ramont behind that wall. Trying to shoot back at Ramont. There's another one. Good boy coming in. He tries to close the door behind him. Unfortunately, gets taken down. Did he just get thirsted by his own teammate or was that? No. So it looks like good boy or C one of the C4 players. They got the thirst before death and uh, Buddha was able to shoot back. So they lost one there. Now they're a duo. So, so far it's been a trade. One for one. Molly thrown. Does that hurt him? Doesn't reach. It's the uh, wall of the house. M24 in that house. Is he going to opt for it? Is he changing up his gun? No. Constantly going between two different battles. Really close battles so far. Team 12 with SYC and FBO. As you can see here, the go-to just looking over. And then you got Team 5 and Team 8 that are really close. The rest of the teams are pretty separate. Waiting for the opportunity to strike for a zone or for uh, anyone comes by their way. The difficulty on this map is trying to push houses. There's so many different houses. Uh, most, A lot of houses with two-story buildings. So trying to push upright without... Uh, outright. Without trying to get a knock first is... Is uh, probably putting your odds against you. So that's why a lot of teams are waiting for the enemies to make a mistake. And so nobody wants to be that team that makes a mistake. If a grenade... Grenades are huge on this map. So I definitely suggest carrying... A lot of grenades as that will help you uh, get those initial knocks that you need in order to push without actually putting yourself in harm's way. Tries to throw Molly on the left side. He's already le left that wall. Zone's going to push both of those uh, battles out. Good knock on good boy. Getting the thirst quickly. And now C4 has two people as well. COS and C4. Same amount of people on each side. Constant trades between the two teams. COS started with three as you can see on the top left. But COS was able to get a kill first. Then it was uh, C4 that got a kill. And then COS just got another one right now. So back and forth for sure. We got 40 people left. 
We started with roughly 60, I think. So this goes to show how much teams try to hold their positions on this map compared to maybe Erangel or Miramar. And it's uh, just a whole different ball game here. The same thing happens at Sandhawk. I always compare the two. They're most comparable. Sandhawk is known for camping in the grass. Vikendi's known for camping in houses. It's like pick your poison. I pick Vikendi a lot because it's uh, just more beautiful map. That's all. I have to compare the two. That's the only difference, really. Um, they're pretty similar in competitiveness, I think, between Sandhawk and Vikendi. Um, but I like the look of this place a lot better. Can't I join? Uh, Jesus, El Elja, Elja, Lilja. I'll answer that in just a sec. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to hit FBO, but I can't. There we go. FBO to go to on the second floor, trying to hold on the line as the rest of his team. No, uh, Killer B is still alive somewhere. But Truni's hurt, gets revived and healed up. Race car and Legend have lost Sink and Daisy. So apparently, it must be FBO that is uh, taking advantage of this situation. As I think last time we saw SYC, they had four people. Oh, three people, I think. So anyway, uh, if you want to join on this event, you've got to register your team. We're going to open up registration right when I'm done streaming tonight. Uh, right when this match is pretty much over. And uh, you can sign up your squad. Uh, if you don't have a squad, you can search for squads on our Discord. Uh, and we know a lot of the different teams. So you can uh, find their server um, in Discord, message them, and figure out if maybe you'll be a good fit for those other clans. But first things first, you got to go to our Discord to kind of figure out how this community works. If you don't know already. So a lot of shots in the distance. Let's take a look at that. Has a lot of knock people too. Devious is uh, a lot of people knocked down. KC has a knock person down. Mommy trying to survive, but Gino comes in with a kill there. Needs to heal through the pain. And let's take a look around to see exactly what's left over. We got Squad Wiper. Who is trying to revive one. Gino is right there on that left side. Who was able to heal to 75%. Look at all the knock people on the ground. Gino throwing a grenade over. That should hurt. It does. It takes down everybody. And KC wins the match on this particular compound. Good throw from Gino. I'm sure that was good communication from the rest of KC. Because really they had a ton of knock people. Who were caused by that particular player behind the house. Who were probably telling them. Hey. He's getting the revive, throw a grenade over, and that is exactly the outcome. So, perfect placed grenade, and uh, you don't have to worry about getting shot when you're throwing a grenade over like that. Team driving by, low lives against FBO. FBO seems to be fine though. Again, you still have SYC here. that has been holding the same house. Both teams have been holding the same house for a long time now. And I don't know when we're going to see that outcome, but right now it's not happening. LL Storm, car blows up. As I said before, that is not a car you want to have if you're passing by an enemy because it just takes a few shots before it goes down. Heading over to Team 13, Shinigami. Trying to just crawl his way. Definitely got in... Well, actually, just gets into zone, I think, at this point. But also probably a little worried about the enemies around C4 in front of him. Do we have a final outcome here yet? No. SYC still holding on to their house. Seems like maybe they're just trading some bullets. Heading over to Team 23. A lot of players from Exhibitioner. Uh, Ex Executioner. Executioner's Blade. Ooh, feel pain. Just definitely felt some pain there. Needs to heal for sure. Just Lloyd goes for the thirst. And I think that is it. Actually, yes. So apparently, I thought the rest of the squad was going to go on heal duty. Because look at their health, by the way. Um, but apparently not. And uh, either Lynx. I think it must have been Lynx. Because he's on the first floor. Or Feel Pain, actually. He's also on the first floor. They might have worked together to get that last kill somewhere along the way. Maybe that one. And uh, they win. 
So they got to worry about the zone right now. As it will start to close in 50 seconds. Captain, welcome back to the stream. Doom's wreck gets wrecked. As he needs to get behind trees and coverage. Doesn't do that well. And train wreck though stays alive behind his tree. Shinigami throwing a smoke over. Definitely makes sense to do. Against the snipe. Oh, that's so unfortunate. You're kind of hoping you had some coverage behind that tree. Never mind. And so Shinigami has no option other than to leave. And possibly going to grab this compound. This compound's free for the taking, by the way. Goes to show that teams did not rotate quick enough. But luckily, that one player, even though sacrificing two players to get there, at least he'll have something out of it. FBO needs to move in. Roughly five seconds, that zone will start to close. And it will start to hurt as we're getting near the end game on this one. SON already has a piece of the end of zone, so that's a safe, safe spot to be. Feel pain passing by, shots fired with a four time scope trying to hit. Feel pain just breezes through that, doesn't even take a single inch of damage from Fluffy. Alright, FBO is at the edge of that wall. Renata changes the gun to an M4 with the three times scope. Molly thrown all away. It looks like it might be too far, though. Really Hail Mary that one. Grenade comes in clutch and hits Killer B. Molly doesn't kick any contact. Another Molly. That's a great throw as Killer B is starting to burn up. Truni's going to try to get that revive. Seems to be working. Another grenade. Doesn't make contact, but really close. And so it looks like Killer B's going to get revived. KC, even though they're throwing some amazing mollies and throwables, they're not pushing uh, to uh, take advantage of those situations. Maybe because of other teams around, but maybe they should have just to make sure that their, their immediate threat is taken down. You can see FBL continues to throw some smokes. Good smokes to use. The go-to getting shot at the wall luckily gets inside the compound now. A lot of smoke, a lot of difficulty to see, and Gino from the side gets a lot done. And Trini just goes to the same place to just die with the rest of his squad. So KC Gino. Definitely a surprise attack at that corner. Just kind of kept them coming in, coming in, and then he took them out. Beautiful work. The rest of the team was shooting across the line. And Gino just surprised the hell out of them. Surprised me, too. Uh, SON looking at them in their direction. At least Cy Young is. Cy Young has a little bit of ways to go, but has 50 seconds in order to do it. Still has some time. 4G is looking back, seeing where the enemies are. C4, uh, Ramat, and uh, I can't tell who the other one. Fool. They are behind the rock, and Basis is just keeping an eye on them. Smokes are thrown their way. They're throwing their own smokes. They really don't have an option other than to use the smokes for a path. It's just a really dangerous move. C4 trying to get a knock to start this one. Seems like maybe the distraction. Fool is shooting across while... While his teammate Ramon is able to rotate around, that seems to be a good option. KC, though, on this side, might be able to see Ramon. But he's not really looking that way. I think he would have the angle if he just looked in the right direction. Does he see him? Yep, sees him. Bull getting hit badly. Bull staying alive. Renata could not get the knock. Goes for it the second time around. Bull is exposed. And there's a shot, finally. And somebody took him down, and it was uh, Renata. And the thirst to boot. Ramat is taken down as well. Apparently not low enough on that road to stay away from the gunshots. Thought he was gonna be, but not uh, apparently. Exit. Ooh, getting shot in the back is Akilla. And maybe from KC, I can't really tell what angle that was. But that's going to be a little bit easier for Executioner's Blade to do what they need to do around here. Yeah, it must have been for SON. Prashant is getting hit. Renata just got right there. Grenade trying to just creep it over. There's a little roll down, a little creep down to the bottom. But it's not going to reach the right contact. 
Fluffy's knocked still. Prashant trying to throw Molly over to Siraj. I'm not sure if that's hurting. It doesn't seem like it. Another Molly thrown to each side of that rock. And luckily, Prashant seems to be in the perfect position not to get hit. We got three teams left. 4G right in front of us. We have SON, who's a little under. And Team 7 with KC. Renat Renata, really close. Cy Young gets knocked down thanks to a 4G member. Must have been Siraj. Uh, I think that's a smoke thrown. Just to hurt their chance to see. Especially since 4G needs to get into zone. This is not a good angle for 4G. Especially Siraj. Siraj's position has been blown. Luckily he was able to get a knock out of that. But they do get the revive and things are not looking up and up. You see all these 4G players are out now. Luckily the smokes is giving some really hardcore coverage. SON's allowing this to happen right now. It's a more aerial view here for you guys to have a better angle. Sayoung trying to hit Siraj. Prashant probably looking toward bassist and Kawiya's way. Fluffy on the backside just trying to make sure he doesn't get hit in the back as well. See Renata's point of view here. Is Renata's really closing in on SON. Eventually they're gonna have to hear each other. I'm sure Renata, yeah, can hear SON on top. Renata not able to strafe in that crouch position. Or uh yeah, crouch position. Uh what? Every time we look at Kawia. It's a weird angle. Basis gets taken down for 4G uh, from Cy Young. Sarad gets taken down Thirsted, and so does Kawia trying to hold on though. And it's Fluffy was able to get a knock. Trying to get more done. Changes the gun to the G. Goes for the thirst. Does behind him though. Starting to get hit a bit. Utilizing the smoke to the best of her ability. Getting knocked out. And that is it for 4G. They will get second place. SON will get another first place victory. That was their second one tonight. So I think they're looking pretty good as far as standings are concerned. For this particular day so um that is it for the whole event i will be going through the results um with the ranks and all that here uh the total results the official results will be out uh either tomorrow uh, either tonight or tomorrow um and that will be on our discord so you can see all that and the outcome of the entire month on how well everyone did and also also, if you want to sign up for this event, all you got to do is go to our Discord and uh, make sure you claim the PUBG Mobile role. And then you're set to go for the rest of our events. If you want to continue doing them for a chance to win prize pools, you have friends who want to compete, you have a whole clan that you want to compete with, you can do that here in our Discord. All right, so I just wanted to mention that before I go into this. Uh, and I really do appreciate everyone watching. I appreciate all the players I played as well. Um, it's a blast to have you guys. And again... We just really appreciate, in general, what you guys have been able to do with us. So, um, let's take a look at the results right now. SON, again, first place, six kills for Cy Young, four for Fluffy, and one for Prashant. A team total of 11. So, I, there's no doubt in my mind that they won the night. Uh, but, hell, maybe maybe not. We'll see. 4G with three for Kawia, two for Bassist, a team total there of five. I think they had two top three spots. They never got a first place. Uh, and that's going to hinder 4G's chances of winning the uh, the whole uh, night as well. KC with nine kills from Gino. Gino did an excellent job, not only in this match, but in previous matches as well. We saw a lot of good activity from them, a lot of good rotations. So I'm not surprised by that number, even though it's a pretty high one. Uh, two apiece for Renata and uh, Dry. I believe that's Dry or Dre. A team total there of 13, right? Yeah, 13 kills. Another double-digit number. Uh, Executioner's Blades, well done with two, four, five kills. Uh, you got C4 with four kills there. FBO, everyone getting at least one or just getting one kill. Team total four. Uh, Low Lives with zero kills. Uh, SYC with two from Car Soup, Race Car Soup. Um, I liked what I saw from Race Car Soup. A lot of good strafing shots. Any one on one battle that he had, he took out the enemy. So. You always need to have that baseline skill in order to be a good teammate as well. Rat Pack Gaming 
with one a piece oh no one kill there devious coming in with five total kills cos with i'm trying to do the math as i go cos with two kills tg with zero and legends uh aj with zero unknown alpha with zero hp with zero and the other legend team with zero as well so all right that takes care of that i'm a bit tired i need more i need coffee that's what i need but uh it's been a blast i really do appreciate all, everyone who came in um yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. Uh, there's a few things I want to do. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to make the stream look a little bit better. I want to make it more uh, engageable. If that's the word. I, I guess uh, I definitely want it to be more engageable. But I want it to be different. I want it to be different than what other streamers do. So um, that's coming soon. I got all the pieces. I'm actually setting it up right now. Uh, so it would be better camera work. Better green screen work, all that kind of stuff. So we'll, uh, we'll I'll show you that probably neck by next week. By next week, it should all be good to go. Um, what else do I wanna say? Again, we have a $300 COD mobile uh, event coming up, free to play, and the prize pool is a $300 one. So if you're interested in having a chance to win that, go to our Discord, as I mentioned, like the 10th time. Um, okay, don't care. I think that covers. I think I'm good. <laughs> Make sure you're safe out there. You don't want to get COVID. Um, and uh, if you're voting age, make sure to vote for the one you think is going to represent you, right? And down ballot as well. Later, guys. Enjoy. And uh, see you until next time.